Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Football Manager 2024 as we continue our road to glory run with Farsley Celtic. Now in the Premier League, guys, we finally made it to the top league in England. Now, can we stay up there? Probably not, but uh, as long as we can stay up there, for, obviously, for the season, <laughs> and then we'll come back, back down again. We'll get a big chunk of money, which will help us out a lot. Plus, the board just announced like $20 million to put into a new stadium. Uh, we'll see how that goes. I think it's only going to have like a 15,000 seat capacity, though. But it's still double what we have currently. So that will help a little bit. And hopefully it's expandable beyond that as well. So uh, let's go ahead and get into the end of season review. I went ahead and skipped the last few games because we already won the, the league. There was no point in showing them. So we're going to get into the end of season review and the transfer special in today's episode. Let's get right into it. All right. As you can see, 2031-32 season, we have won the championship. Good, good win. I mean, insane season. Insane, insane season. Uh, here is the team as a whole. McLaughlin, signing of the season. You know what? I'd love to see what he can turn into. That's going to be good. But really, most of these are actually really, really good signings. Nobody nobody really down low. Transfer out. Um, Asante, they didn't like that one. Bellows, I mean, didn't really have much to do about that one. You know, it's all right, though. Loans out. Um, McLaughlin one was interesting. Uh, anybody else that's really good here? Karen's really would love to see what he can do, if he can develop into something, but... All right, good stuff there. Uh, and here's the season, right? Uh, obviously, final position, first place. Uh, we were just supposed, supposed to avoid relegation. Oops, I might have overachieved a bit, guys. Uh, we won the league by a 14-point overall uh, differential there. Our uh, last few games weren't the best. Um, we did lose a couple of them, 3-4, three 3-4, to 5-3, three to four, five to three, things like that. Um, but I was doing some rotations, stuff like that. So I'm not really worried about those losses there at the end. Uh, the border plays the team with the one. The Skybet Championship this season. There is no doubt that the fine run of results at the end of the season helped us in overachieve. I mean, we did have, I mean, this run right here, several games in a row that we won there, which is pretty good. Yeah, our maximum uh, capacity, which was, we were sold out the entire season, was 8,352. So I don't have 15,000 seat capacity. It'd be nice, you know, doubling doubling that. And I'm assuming we're going to sell that out pretty pretty regularly. FA Cup, uh, you know, we did okay here. Nothing too amazing, but we did all right. And then Carabao Cup. We actually made a pretty good run in Carabao Cup, in my opinion. So I was pretty happy with that as well. Moments to remember. Our biggest win was against Swansea. Six a nothing victory against Swansea with the four goals from DeBoer in that one. Uh, match to remember was our game against Birmingham. Two to one victory there. And then our goal of the season came from um, a game against Norwich here with DeBoer picking up a goal. Uh, let's go check out. I guess we got five goals in this one. Let's go. Oh, sorry, I wanted to go back and see that. Might as well. So the 44th minute. Pretty good goal there as well. <laughs> nice. Some good goals. And we'll have the goal of the season coming up here next. DeBoer. Just scores it. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. I actually like that first goal from Jurgensen, whoever it was, more than that one even, but uh, all good. Um, and then we go, oh, I want to go. Sorry, I want to get back in here. Uh, the finances. So we did. Ha we do have a 10-year deal worth 407 k That's going to help us with that new stadium. We have gone up to three-star club reputation. Uh, sponsorship money went up a little bit. Uh, broadcast revenue went down slightly. Oh God, that's going to go up big time in the next tier up. Corporate hospitality went up. Competition prize money went up quite a bit. Uh, match day commercial retail went up. Uh, shirt sales, Badgie with the most. Jurgensen, Hooben, Whittingham, and DeBoer. Yeah, definitely DeBoer. Jurgensen, I could see those. Hooben, yeah. Yeah, this would make sense. A lot of good players there. Um, how we lined up. Uh, Aconquo got the goal spot there. Hackett on the left, definitely. Yeah. McDonald on the right, Lloyd and Jurgensen. Okay, Montgomery Holder ahead of them. Surprised it's not Munns, but okay. Ramirez on the left wing, Hoobin definitely on the right wing, and DeBoer and Dan's up front. That, that, that makes perfect sense to me. Uh, I got the manager of the month for September, October, November. Uh, we didn't get December or January, but then we got back into February. Uh, fans player of the season was Hoobin, 7.3 rating. Young player of the season was DeBoer, 7.2 rating. Uh, signing of the season was McLaughlin. Uh, goal of the season was Solomon from DeBoer. 
Uh, top goal scorer, 22 goals from DeBoer. Amazing. Most assists was Hoobin with 15. Uh, Hoobin also picking a bunch of goals himself. Most player of the match awards was Hoobin with 5. Highest average rating was Hoobin with 7.3. And most passes completed was Jurgensen. Our record breakers, most goals by a player in a match was DeBoer with 4. Uh, in a league match with 4. Most league goals by a player was 65 with Bennett. And then fastest goal, 12 seconds from DeBoer. Um... Remarkable season for Farsley. Really began to pick up speed in the middle of the campaign. They are deservedly going up. I mean, we were just absolutely dominant this season. I believe we finally hit 400 games with Farsley. Did I see that on there somewhere? I'm not seeing it here, but yeah. Really, really good finish there. And best 11. Uh, who do we got inducted in here? Let's see. McDonald getting in here. Getting her in there as a starter right away. Uh, Akonk was still our best goalkeeper according to this. Chai Holder getting in here as the uh, into the starting lineup as well. That's awesome. And that's about it. But that's good stuff. Farsley's best 11. Where are they now? Anybody here we care about? Ajungu is at Mac Macclesfield. Peters, Davis. Some good guys that we've had over the season, over the years. Uh, and then finally, that's that. All right. Well, well that's just slightly here. And we're going to take a look at what we got from a team standpoint. So let's go look at our squad. And obviously anybody up here in the green, we're going to do our best to keep around as much as possible. Also, anybody that's got a lot of potential, such as uh, McLaughlin, possibly Chukwuma, guys like that, we're going to keep around. Guys like Bennett and Talbot, they need to move on, which they're both actually already expiring the season. So we're going to go ahead and make sure we set these guys to set for release. Love Talbot, love Bennett. They have been great stewards for a long time. Bennett's only 23 years of age, uh, but it's time for them to move on. And, um, you know, we're, we're very thankful for them, but like I said, it is time. Anybody else needs to drop out of here? McGinty. McGinty played well for us this season, but honestly, we probably need to try and get rid of him. Hackett probably needs to move on. He's just not going to be our future. Honestly, Conquo needs to move on. Um, and then we'll figure out from there. Possibly Badgie at age of 30. I mean, we don't we don't need these guys. We need to get some of this money back from some of these guys. In fact, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and set some of these up. McGinty, we're gonna go ahead and set you up for transfer. Actually, let's uh, ask agent uh, market interest first. No interest right now. Transfer listed for I mean I guess 80k is we're not gonna get much for him, but that's okay. We might be able to get 200k for him. Um, all right, intermediary, nobody. And offer for you a transfer room for 200k. I don't know why sometimes it doesn't actually put in the uh, the amount that I've got him listed for. All right, you're good. Uh, Hackett, I'd love to. I mean, if we got a few million for Hackett, he's getting older, you know, and it's time to. Time to move some of these guys on and get some fresh blood in here. Oh, I need to ask the agent about market interest. Okay, that's fine. Now, if we got 5.6 mil for him, I would be ecstatic. Hack can go on his way. Um, McLaughlin, we want to keep around. Christopherson, for now, we're going to keep around. Mons, we're going to... I mean, some of these guys we're going to keep around for now. They might eventually need to um, be replaced. But for now, we're going to try to keep some of these guys around. We do have some new youngsters coming in. I'll show you those as well. These are youngsters that we got from... The clubs, the Premier League clubs that release team guys. Uh, which, you know, obviously tells us they're probably not good enough to play in the Premier League for very long, but they still might be better than what we got. Um, I mean, let's go gamble on and see if we can get 450k for him. All right, Conquo. Um, and last but not least, Badgie. I think if we can get Badgie out, 30 years of age. Nice to have him for as long as we did, but I think... If we can get anything for him, I will be happy with that. I 
I really want to, I mean, the only way we're going to be able to grow and do what we need to do long-term is to, um, okay, we're not going to get much for him, but that's okay. A really huge difference here. We'll go for this one. Um, is to uh, flip some of these older guys into uh, wonder kids that will just develop into being better than they were to begin with. All right, so we got a bunch of guys on that. That looks good. Happy with a lot of that. There might be some more cuts coming up. Uh, let's take a look at some of the youngsters we got coming in here. Uh, we got several, seven so far, three of them from Tottenham, three tackers from Tottenham specifically. Uh, but again, these my guys might not be amazing, but you never know. Uh, we got more. I don't remember Moro coming in. Was he already? He must have been already agreed to. Uh, right back here, Moro comes in here as a could go as high as four and a half star, three star current ability. Um, who knows? Again, the cool thing about going for some of these guys is that if they can be end up being complete flops, we didn't pay anything for pretty much any of these guys. I did play something for Friday here. We'll take a look at him. We actually he's been on our radar for a while. Uh, Ramison, uh, center back. Uh, he comes in here, three star current ability. Or sorry, no, wrong one. There you go. Two and a half star current ability could be as high as five star overall ability. So he looks like he could be decent. We'll find out. Uh, Friday, we did uh, bring him in finally. We've, like I said, we've been taking a look at him for a while. Uh, he comes in here three star, maybe three and a half star current ability. Could be as high as five star potential. So he would potentially be our starting a left back if he comes in here. Uh, Vasilou, uh, he comes in here maybe two star current ability. Could be as high as five star potential. Again, might not, not work out. Who knows? Well, we'll have to just kind of play these guys and see how they go. Huffer comes in here. He comes in here as a two and a half star current, five star potential based on what we know now. Douglas, two star current, four, four and a half star potential. And finally, Thomas, two star current, five star potential. So we'll really see how, you know, these guys, once they really get in here, if anybody just, I don't know, again, they might not be that good. I mean, 16 finishing, it's not bad for a uh, 18 year old. We'll see if he can develop into something. He's not very tall though. But again, if these guys end up being total flops, they didn't cost us that much. So I'm not super stressed about it at all. Uh, as far as getting Wonder Kids in here, unfortunately, I have not been able to really get anybody coming in here. Most of the people that I've, I've been finding are not interested, which has been very trust, frust, frustrating. Like this guy, Hoshino. We could afford him. We could afford him right now. But he is not interested at all. Which is very unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate because he would be amazing. And like I said, absolutely could afford him right the second. I mean, we could try and make an offer for him. I seriously doubt he's going to come in for us. I'm hoping maybe it's just because we hadn't flipped over to being in the Premier League officially yet, but I have my doubts. Uh, there was also a goalkeeper that we had our eyes on at one point. Uh, where was he? He looked extremely good. I think it was, no, it wasn't Vujovic. It was, uh, it was this guy, Gomez. He looked amazing, but just not, just not interested, unfortunately. All right, well, I'm going to go do some work, see if we can get any of these guys to come into here. Um, would be amazing. My goal is to get at least two Wonder Kids, maybe three if on a stretch goal. Stretch goal with three Wonder Kids. If we can get three Wonder Kids in here, get that, that system started, then we can start building out a team for the future and go from there. But uh, we'll be back once there is more news to show. All right, we're back. Transfer window is uh, done. Uh, we're ready for our very first game against Tottenham, which is probably going to be a loss away from home. But that's okay. We're going to get our our uh, premier season started off in a... I mean, the whole season is going to be crazy, right? Like, it might be one of those breeze-through seasons just to get through it because we will be enjoying some parachute payments when we get relegated back down. All that kind of stuff. So, really, we've already... This is already a winning season just being here doesn't matter what happens this season. We get we get relegated. That's okay. We will just come right back up, and then we'll be much better because we will have a bunch of money. In fact, if you look at our projection, yeah, we're, we're projected to get a pretty good bank account going. So, And that's including the the 53 mil in, you know, actually, I guess more than 60 mil in debt that we've got right now because uh, we, we had to pay for the, um, the stadium and all that kind of stuff. So we're making payments for that already, things like that. So... The fact that we're going to be, we're going to be fine. We're going to be fine financially. We've, we are already won the game. Well, not really, but you know what I mean? Like we've won everything we need to do this season just by being here. So it doesn't really matter what happens. So I might not show that many games unless we'd like to start doing better than expected. Um, But I will at least show you guys what kind of team we've put together here. Uh, as you can see, we did play a bunch of nothing teams in the friendlies. Absolutely blew everybody away, which is good stuff. Um, Transfers. If we go look at the transfer history. And let's go look at coming in. Uh, anybody here that you guys didn't already look at? 
We already looked at all the youngsters. Not all of them. Actually, let me see. Are any of these guys? Uh, we already looked at Friday. Uh, we Douglas is actually not even in our lineup. Puffer's not on our laptop. None of these guys are in our lineup right now. Most of these guys, I think, are either under 18s or under 21s. Um, just to get some development up. Uh, we're going to let them sit there for a year or something like that. That's going to be fine by me. Um, we'll see what they develop into after a year of, of sitting down there. Uh, we can always pull them up if they start developing quicker. Uh, we always have those options. As far as outwards, uh, people leaving, uh, Will Fish left for a very measly amount, 23K. Actually, that was back in January. You guys already knew about that one. Aconqua left for 400K. So at least we got something for him. Um, he's just not been a very good player for us in the long run. Uh, as far as transfers out uh, on this side of the the, the thing, uh, Watts left for up to 550K. We weren't using him at all. In fact, did we ever even actually play him? We never played him a single minute. Got him on a free and sold him for 550k. Yeah, yes. Um, Badgy, we did sell for 2.6 mil. I like Badgy, but he was getting a little bit old. Uh, so we definitely wanted to move on from him. Uh, we brought him in on a free, sold him for 2.6. So I got a little bit of something for that. That's fine. And then a bunch of loanies went out. Uh, the, the Probably the most key loanee going out would be Matthew Cairns went back out on loan again. Uh, he's looking good. He's actually probably could start getting into the... Yeah, exactly. Not far from the first team level. He's very, very close. So I'm actually looking to see Karen's do some good stuff. He's on loan at Carlisle in League One. Hopefully he gets some good good play time down there. And then we can always bring him back and play him with us. So that's that. As far as coming in, though, we have spent some money. As you guys can see, we spent 29.5 mil. Uh, that's, a, that's a lot of money. Basically, we spent our entire transfer budget, plus a little bit extra maybe. Um, but first up, we got Tom, uh, Thomas McClellan here. Comes in here as a four-star, current ability, four-and-a-half star goalkeeper. Um, definitely going to come in here as our starting goalkeeper up front, 24 years of age. So he's still got, got room to develop. Not true, not necessarily a wonder kid level, but definitely a step, huge step up for us in theory, uh, based on the statistic, the, the star ratings, but we'll see how he plays in point of fact. Uh, Morrill finally joined us. We signed him last year. Um, I don't know if he's going to come in and be a starter, if he's going to be a backup, whatever. We'll just see what happens with him. 24 years of age, three-star current ability, four-star potential. If he fills a spot, he fills a spot. If not, then we'll sell him on and we'll move on from him. Uh, Tom Stone comes in here from Darby. 3.5 mil, up going up to 4.2 mil. Uh, 3.5 star current ability, 5 star potential, 21 year old. He's looking pretty good. In fact, he might be one of our starters coming into this first season. I mean, only 5 foot 11, so not super, super tall. But uh, he's got good heading. Uh, Jumping reach could be a little bit better. But we'll see how he plays for us. Um, I'll kind of go from there. He, like I said, he comes in from Darby there. Um... He hasn't really played well. He hasn't actually played in the championship at all, or the Premier League at all. He hasn't even played in the championship. Uh, he was good in the Van der League a couple seasons ago. Not great in League One. He only played five games. So honestly, I don't know. He's a little bit of a gamble. We'll see what happens. I mean, that's the way I do it. I've talked about this before. I tend to gamble on a bunch of, you know, you know, players that are around that, four, uh, you know, five to 15 mil range. And if a, one or two of them works out, then awesome, right? And if one of them doesn't work out, we usually make up the difference of those two. Those didn't work out for the ones that do end up working out. So uh, Brett Wiley comes in here from Wolves. Uh, three and a half or two and a half star current ability could be as high as five star potential striker. 15 finishing. It's not bad for someone who's only 20 years of age. So he's going to get a little bit better, most likely. Five foot seven, a little bit short, right? But uh, we'll see what he can do. Uh, he is going to be, I think, our fourth string, as you can see here striker coming in but at least we're, we're definitely gonna get some game time for him right we're gonna be rotating players that's one thing the premier league does there's there are a lot of games in the premier league um so once you get into um some of the uh well maybe not at our level i should i should rephrase that at our level there's not gonna be a lot of games because we're not gonna be playing very many of the uh, we're not gonna make it very far on the cups and we're obviously not in european play now once we get into european play you do need excuse me you need a lot more rotational players because you are going to be playing a lot of a lot of games. Now, for us, again, like I said, we're not going to be playing that many games. After all, that's okay. I still think he's going to get some game time. I think our first and second string will still get a decent amount of game time. Our third string players probably will either need to send them out on loan or something to get them some game time that way. Um, so we do have several of those, and we'll go into that. Uh, we got this guy named Macha, Frantisek, Frantisek Macha from Everton. 4.4 mil up front, going up to 6.5 mil. He comes in here currently as a midfielder. And actually, you know what? I didn't even set him up. Where is he at currently? Um, he's actually under the, under the 21s. Is that right? 
Yeah, he's under the under 21s. Okay, that's fine. He can develop down there. And probably what we're going to want to do is have him start training as a defensive midfielder. Um, yeah. We need him to train as a defensive midfielder. And what kind of defensive midfielder do we currently use? Just a defensive midfielder. Okay, so we want him to train as a defensive midfielder on support. See what he can do with that. And... Uh, I'll take control of his individual training for right now. And we'll go with that. So we'll get him there. See if we can get him trained up down here. And go from there. Um, so we're not really playing him. A lot of money for somebody who we're not playing. But I have a feeling that if he can continue to develop, at the worst case, we sell him on for you know twice as much as we paid for him. Most likely we'll see what happens with that. Uh, none of these guys are true wonder kids. So nothing to see there. Um, Wamba comes in here as a center back. Uh, he comes in here as our third, third level center back, I believe. Um... Showing him way down here, but I'm going to play him ahead of Christopherson and Lloyd. Uh, just because he's got more uh, potential here. So he comes in here, 20-year-old. Sorry about that. Um, from, where did he come from? Came from QPR. So we'll see what happens with him. He's worth, he costs us a little bit more, but he looks like a pretty decent player. He's going to get some, definitely going to get a lot of game time. Uh, next up, we have Callum Grant coming in on loan from Leeds. Although I believe... Does this not have a permanent move attached to it? It does, doesn't it, right? I could have sworn I had a <laughs> permanent uh, move attached to this. Is it or not? Maybe I misunderstood what this was doing. This is one my director of football put up. Um... I could have sworn there was a permanent move attached to this. Am I dumb? Huh. Maybe I'm misunderstood. Never mind then. Okay. Well, I really thought that was a. Tr well, either way, he's gonna look. He's he's gonna come in as a starter for us. He's basically our number one striker. We'll play him. Um, I thought there was a permanent move attached to this, and maybe there is, and I'm just blind as a bat and can't see it. But we will definitely be playing him. Even if he doesn't come in as a permanent move, he's going to give us some good, a good lift up there at striker. Um, and again, coming in from Leeds. And then finally, we have Hurtado, uh, who got pretty late. He's actually could be as good as McClellan pretty soon. Um, he's going to sit behind McClellan to start with, but he, we probably want to try to get him some game time, maybe in some cups, things like that. Make sure he gets some development here. 20-year-old uh, goalkeeper with three-star credibility, five-star potential coming in from a uh, team in Colombia. So... Again, not, not a wonder kid or anything like that, but uh, closest thing we're going to have to a wonder kid, probably. So that's the team right now. If we go look at the squad planner, we can see, like I said, Callum Grant and Dan's are our primary two strikers, most likely, with DeBoer and Wiley sitting behind him, them. And we might want to loan out Remington and Wright, set them. Actually, let's go ahead and uh, add to development list on both of these guys. Just get us some... Uh, just get us something. Get them out on loan, and we'll see if we can get uh, some development for them. Uh, attacking midfielders on the left, we got Ramirez and Whittingham. Attacking midfielders on the right, we got Hooban and McLaughlin. So no real upgrades on the attacking midfielder side of things. Would like to get some more bad guys. But honestly, here's one thing I did run into. I ran into many, 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 many good players who were had zero interest in coming and joining us. We just don't have the reputation. We just don't have the clout. So if we can, if we can do good this season... Um, then maybe we can get some of those guys to join us. Although, again, like I said, I'm expecting to get relegated. So I don't expect us to get a lot of those types of players until the next time we come up into the Premier League. So we'll see where that goes. Uh, defensive midfield, we got Montgomery Holder as our primary two, most likely, and Munson Crocker behind them. So not too bad. Uh, on the left side, we got Friday and Hackett as our primary two. I do want to get Taylor out on loan. Is he listed for loan? He is listed for loan. Uh, and actually, Hackett's listed for transfer. I might need to remove that. Although, if either one of these goes, then we'll just keep the other one. So I guess we'll leave it for now. On the right-hand side, we've got McDonald and Botson as our primaries with Morrow sitting behind them. Uh, honestly, I probably want to get Morrow, even though he's... Um, honestly, I don't know yet. We need to see who's going to be our player that we're going to keep here. Because I actually need to try out all three of these guys. I, I kind of like the idea of just keeping Botson. 
around because you can play on the left and the right and then play McDonald Memoir as our primary two and then just finding a move for your Jacks or for Taylor or Hackett here. Um, and that'll give us two and a half, basically, uh, players on each side with bots and fulfilling both sides. So we might play around with something like that. And then in the defensive uh, center back role, we got Jurgensen and Stone as our primary two. Mwamba and Christofferson is sitting behind them. And then Lloyd and Bone behind them. And I think we're going to try and get you on the development list as well. And you also on the development list. If we can get some loans for you guys, awesome. If not, no worries. We'll try to find some game time for you. No harm, no foul. Uh, and then a goalkeeper, we got McClellan and Hurtado uh, with McGinty sitting behind them. Um, McGinty's currently listed. He's been listed this entire time. We get him sold. Cool. If not, he'll just sit there. He's not really eating that much of our wage budget. Speaking of budgets, uh, we have drained all of our transfer budget. Wage budget, we are over our wage budget, which is not great, but it is what it is. We're, we're just kind of, that's kind of how things, actually, the reason why we're over wage budget is not because of the transfers that I did. It's because of the people that wanted renewed contracts. Uh, Jurgensen wanted a renewed contract, McLaughlin, uh, McDonald, uh, DeBoer, like several guys wanted renewed contracts. And so obviously stepping up to premier level pay rates, those renewed contracts did increase their wages by a pretty decent amount. But that's the team we got so far. If we go look at the competition stuff and I go look at the preview, uh, you will see that we are very much favorites to be relegated by a very large margin. Uh, however, we did beat Reading last year. So, like we stomped on Reading last year. So if we can play at least that, you know, decently good against some of these lower teams here, all we got to do to survive, right, is to be fourth, or fourth from the bottom, right? We just got to beat uh, Reading. We got to beat, let's say, Watford, maybe. Uh, when was the last time they were down? Yeah, they just got promoted not that long ago. So if we can beat Watford, and if let's say we could beat... Um, uh, how long ago has Nottingham Force been down there with us? Uh, they've actually never... Well, they've been there. It's been there for a long time, though. So they've been in the Premier League for a while. Uh, who else would be good to sit down there? Wasn't Middlesbrough down there some, with us at one point? A couple seasons ago. So they've been established in the Premier League for a little while. So I don't know who the third team... Basically, here's my guess. We beat Reading, we beat Watford, so we're in we're in 18th place, right? We just got to find one of these other teams, and I don't know who it would be, that we can just be just a step above them, and that's going to be the challenge. So we'll see where that comes in, but that is our transfer special. I think it's a better team than we had last year in the Champions League, or Championship, I should say. Um, is I do not think it's a good enough team to avoid relegation from the Premier League, but that's okay. Again, as long as we're just making improvements to be better, then then, then eventually when we do get into the Premier League, with an even better team, then we will be a good enough team to stay there. Uh, speaking of kind of where we're at, do we get to see the team details yet? We do not. We have to play a match to see the team details. But I'm pretty sure we are dead last on the wages, as you would expect, uh, which is what it is. So the big thing we're going to win from this is building a new stadium. And while building a new stadium, which is costing us 21 million bucks, we will be improving our overall financial spot, uh, which will be awesome to see. So... Uh, that is that guys. Uh, I'm excited. We're in the Premier League finally guys. This is awesome. Uh, hopefully you guys are as excited as I am. We shall see. But uh, may, I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.